The Secretary General arrives in Geneva shortly, and his schedule tomorrow includes a meeting with representatives of flu vaccine companies, a visit to the World Health Organization Center for Strategic Health Operations, and a press conference. He will also address the World Health Assembly which, by the way, is the supreme decision-making body for the World Health Organization, and it started its 62nd session today in Geneva. The Assembly plans to discuss a number of public health issues, such as pandemic influenza preparedness. In that regard, participants expect to discuss the sharing of influenza viruses and access to vaccines. Also on the agendas, Assembly's agenda are the implementation of the international health regulations, primary health care, including health care strengthening, social determinants of health, and monitoring the achievements of the health-related Millennium Development Goals. The Assembly will also discuss WHO's program budget, administration, and management matters. And while on the topic of health, today in Geneva, Dr. Margaret Chan, Director General of the World Health Organization, addressed the high-level consultation on pandemic influenza a H1N1. She told participants, we are all under pressure to make urgent and far-reaching decisions in an atmosphere of considerable scientific uncertainty. She also said that following, following to the, the gather, the job of managing public perceptions and behaviors also falls on our shoulders. We need to warn the public when necessary, but reassure them whenever possible. This is a difficult balancing act. In a Additional remarks to the opening of the World Health Assembly, Dr. Chan said, influenza viruses have had have the great advantage of surprise on their side, but viruses are not smart. We are. Meanwhile, according to WHO's latest tally, 40 countries have now officially reported 8,829 cases of influenza A, H1N1 infection. The figure includes 74 deaths. 